As we come to our prayer time, our hearts and minds are full. We each have joys and blessings in our lives for which we are grateful. We all have heartbreaks and deep sorrows. We all have fear and grief swirling among the delightful beauty around us. I invite you to find your favorite prayer posture and breathe in and breathe out. And breathe in and breathe out. Mindful of your breathing, let us offer all that we are to God in prayer. Let us pray. Praise be to you, O Lord, who spins shining stars across the wondrous heavens. Sand stretches out the seas, who lifts the dawn into place and sets the boundaries for night who awes the earth with storms and gentles it with green, who turns winter into spring and summer into fall, who gives everything a season and breathes life and love into each of us. Your world, Creator God, your world is fragmented and broken. In your world, everyone is still living with and fighting a mighty pandemic. In the United States, just surpassing 200,000 lives. We have been horrified with the murders of our black brothers and sisters. We have loved ones near us and colleagues among us who have died. We lament the deaths of John Lewis and Ruth Bader Ginsburg enormous voices of justice and equality in places of power and authority. We have wildfires on the West Coast consuming life and hurricanes in the Gulf flooding the land, water permeating homes and businesses and churches. Precious lives, O oh God, precious life lost. We gather from north and south and east and west, just here in Oklahoma, to open our grieving hearts and our minds to you. You call us to be your partners, to bring good news to the poor, the sick, the elderly, the children. And yet our traditional and customary ways have been interrupted by this virus that is mean and scary breaking open systems of injustice, revealing our shortcomings as human beings, leaving us vulnerable and angry and overwhelmed with grief. Pausing, breathing, refocusing. We are reminded that you are still with us. In these extraordinary times, we hear your messenger proclaim, do not be afraid. And your voice beckons us to be your partners in recreating the world as your love would have it. A world where the weak are protected and none go hungry or poor. A world where the riches of creation are shared and everyone can enjoy them. A world where different races and cultures live in equality with with and within awe of one another's gifts. A world where peace is built with justice and justice is guided by love. The love that your son Jesus came to show us. With our eyes fixed on Jesus and the way he cared, re-Easter us, O God. Raise us with renewed joy and strength to dream dreams, your dream and to put our hands and feet in motion to serve like no other. Grant us the compassion and the courage to make it so special in our region. Give us grace never to sell ourselves short. Grace to risk something big for something good. And grace to remember that the world is too dangerous for anything but truth and too small for anything but love, intentional 
extravagant, unconditional love. Remembering that your goodness and mercy follow us all the days of our lives, we are honored and humbled to follow your son, Jesus, praying with him the prayer he taught his disciples. So God, as we blend our voices together, may your ears find it pleasing as we say, Our Creator, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us for our sins. As we forgive those who have sinned against us. Lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the glory forever. forever and ever. Amen. 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 Amen.